Good day, fellow investors. The ECB is thankfully printing a lot of money, so there are opportunities to invest. There is money, you have money, but as they're printing money, the value of that money goes down, down, down and down. The more money there is, it's logical economics, but the assets out there, so you have to see how to take advantage of the money, don't lose your wealth, and then see how to implement, take advantage of that, what's going on. My name is Sven Kerlin. I'm an independent stock market researcher, European, so I invest my euros. And in this video, I want to discuss what are the opportunities, what are the risks, and five things to invest in, one that you are already invested in as a European, which is probably the most important thing before you start thinking about investing, and then four, to diversify. But when you think about it, we are living in a very, very strange world. I recently got a letter from my Dutch bank, ABN Emro, saying that if I have more than 100,000, more than a million, they will have such negative, negative rates on the cash that you have there. So the bank will take your money, there is inflation, ECB is printing, we really need to find ways to protect our money, our wealth over the long term, because one thing is certain, the euro will lose its value day by day is losing its value day by day and we lose a lot of purchasing power over the coming years given the environment. So nix, nada, niente, nothing is what you get in your bank, what you get on your cash. Let's see what are the other opportunities. The whole video will be based on simple fundamentals of investing, diversifying, margin of safety, finding value, risk and reward, and putting that in line with what are your needs, finding investment vehicles that fit your investment requirements, your financial goals, your life goals. And that will be the story. And if you can get something out of this video that will help you make decisions over the long term, take advantage of what's going on and not lose money because of what's going on, then I've succeeded in my mission. And if I did that, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other ideas, share with our community in the comments below. Let's start with the first thing, which is how you are already invested as a European. That's extremely important. If you are an European, have a job, you probably have a pension fund that you pay a big part of your salary into each month and they are investing that money in for you. If I look at my Dutch pension fund, uh, ABP, they have investing, they're investing my money and the top positions are, again, the euro and government bonds. Governments highly in debt. Of course, the ECB is printing money to help them. So they invest in bonds, very low interest rates, negative interest rates in some cases with the better governments like Germany, lower debt. So no yield. So they're practically losing money with debt. Then they invest in stocks. They invest in the biggest businesses, globally diversified. Okay, but then again, low yield because they have to wait for the company to get bigger and they are globally diversified. So accept global growth. But if you have a pension fund, you're already invested in governments, euro, a little bit also US, globally diversified, and businesses across the globe. So that's one. The second thing you're already invested in is your government, your social security, pension fund, but at a certain age, the government, depending on how's the structure within your country, will give you something. How will Europe, Europe European governments look down the road 10, 20, 30 years when we retire, I have no idea. But again, this is the second, you own bonds with your pension fund and you are long your government if you live in the country where you are because it, a lot of your quality of life depends on the success of your government and ask the Greeks how it hasn't been fun over the last 10 years. A lot of issues because the government wasn't was greedy let's say in the beginning to take all those loans and now they have to cut the benefits they have given which is never nice but if the government is at risk then somewhere in the future 
Italy for sure there will be cuts there will be troubles and the ECB cannot print so much money or there will be inflation so that the money printing will not have an effect so those are this is the second thing you're already long the third thing you are likely long if you are the average European you likely have a home so you might get some inheritance in the form of real estate so you are again long European real estate which means demographics prices rental income is it a cost is it a burden a lot of real estates if you go an hour from Paris nobody lives in those villages anymore if you go in the outskirts only the centers the hubs have rising prices rising real estate prices and all around we see a demographic decline which is very important to think you might want to switch your value if you have some value from a declining area lower rents difficult and everything to a growing area that's how the world works now so that's something also to think about and then if you are watching this video means you have the euro so you have a job you have european income you have something you have a business that gets money in euros and you need to invest that money so you're also long the european currency because your income your job whatever it is is in that currency so when you put this into a perspective <laughs> very important perspective when it comes to investing you're practically very very long the euro europe european union just because you live in europe now if you're long something extremely exposed to the government to economic to economics to demographics to whatever happens in europe which is all correlated the government gets in trouble less business less jobs lower income lower pensions less things so it's all correlated so you are very long europe highly correlated very long europe the best thing to do in that case is to simply diversify you have to be protected for inflation because they are printing so much money there is inflation just look at the real assets the fixed amounts there is huge inflation and will continue to be there diversification margin of safety and how to protect what you have and how to create vehicles that will give what you need in the future opportunities four opportunities where to invest are the following you can own businesses that are not related to what goes on in europe but related to what goes on globally just an example commodities oil if the euro collapses oil prices will go up because those are denominated in us prices demand depends on asia even if we have electrification etc but this is just an idea not a recommendation there are stocks that are getting cheaper but that fluctuate in relation to oil prices okay european crisis might impact that too so it's a little bit correlated but you have to see how that fits your portfolio but the key here is to have an investing not a speculative mindset stocks go up and down that's something you simply have to take as a given a certainty is that the value of your euros will go down the drain stocks go up and down but the businesses continue to grow continue to invest continue to produce continue to take your money make profit reinvest so if you think it from a business perspective okay i'm long europe and long everything can i own businesses somewhere else which make it uncorrelated from what i own perhaps give me a higher yield higher return high future prospects then you start looking at businesses so really think about okay i'm so long this can i find businesses across the world that will protect me one example that i made a video on is visa visa if there is inflation europe wherever more money more printing more printing visa is a stock that will have higher margins will make more money if there is more money then people are paying more and more and more with uh, cards not cash so a positive trend and then that's also something industry interesting to diversify from what you already have secondly or thirdly real estate real estate there are good and bad real estate you have to learn how to invest in real estate but you can invest and then you can get certainty if you buy something close to university you know you will have students there you know what leverage you can take you know what will be the return there it's pretty safe do i need that income and then 
you can, okay, let me invest in something so that over 10, 20 years, I have another pension next to what I have now with high certainty. It, I can increase rents protecting from inflation if you are in the private sector. And it takes a lot of work. It takes six, one year work to buy something, to do it properly, but it's really worth. And then yields are much better from, I don't know, one, two percent, more expensive to 10% if you go to the more risky country. So that's something you have to see, analyze, but then location, 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 demographics, economic development, growth. And if you look, you can find better yields than the zero or negative yield plus taxes that you have on your cash. Then again, we already mentioned the ECB is printing more and more money. So if as they print money, all those fixed assets, that have high demand but cannot increase supply will go up in value. So if you want inflation protection, you buy those assets. You don't buy those assets that can be increased in supply. And even the new ECB president said they want to print money, they will continue to print money, and they want governments to spend more, more and more money, go more into debt, so they will print more, print more inflation is inevitable, is already there, no matter how they measure it. So you want to be protected. If you have a nice piece of real estate, a good piece of real estate, you'll get income and protection, which is an interesting diversificator in your portfolio. Just look at what happened in Amsterdam or in the Netherlands. Prices are up 34% over the last four years due to money printing, low interest rates, and what the ECB, ECB is doing. It can crash, as always, but then you always have the income if you bought something smart, but it can also continue. And given what the ECB is doing, it might really continue, especially in the good sectors, in the goods areas, good locations that have good yields, high demand. Just for example, here you have uh, Amsterdam, 1.2 million for uh, two free flats. I always look look for fun, but okay, you can buy free flats. The yield is about 5%. So 5% is not bad. It's much better than 0% if you have a few millions. Okay, you have to make a trip here and there, find an agency, organize, but it is something that you can might think about when it comes to diversify, diversifying. This yield is 5%. Or you can do the crazy thing, the crazy like Trump thing, when he discussed on YouTube how to invest in Batumi in the Republic of Georgia. The yields there are 10%. And I was looking at the London Stock Exchange listed companies. There was this company, Orbi Group. They build apartments in Georgia. They even give you, they're very leveraged. They even give you uh, in loans or with nine or seven percent interest where they rent it out for you, they manage everything for you. But then you can look at the risk reward. You can say, okay, I can risk, I don't know, 20, 30,000, buy something. If it goes wrong, I never go to Georgia again. If it goes okay, okay, then I have an additional income when it comes to investing. This is Trump style investing. If you lose, you lose little or nothing. If you win, you win big. Again, diversification. Don't bet your money on an apartment in Georgia. Don't bet your, don't bet your pension, your retirement on an apartment in Georgia. Just an idea, just discussing to amplify your mind and your investment opportunities. Usually when it comes to such things, when they are so prepared for foreign, in foreign investors, it's more for foreign suckers. So you'll probably lose money on this. But if you look, if you know other areas of the world where the things are going good, will go good, areas that are not hot and not already made to scam in foreign investors, then it might be an idea. I'm just thinking, maybe you want to take your wife to travel across the world, see something interesting, and then you say, okay, I'm going to diversify there because the income is good and it might explode in the future. And then going back to what Lagarde is doing, ECB, mortgage, debt. You are long the euro, you are long everything. How can I be short the euro, short everything? How can I be diversified? And how can I take advantage of what's going on of the low interest rates? Well, you can take on debt. Lagarde is saying government spend more, take more debt, do more, grow, invest, which means the ECB will cover that debt. Interest rates, interest rates will be kept low. There will be an abundance of money. So you also might 
put yourself in that situation. Okay, I'm going to take that and when we buy the next real estate that we sold, we're going to take a lot of that too, to be hedged for whatever happens in euro. So low interest rates, my brother is now looking for his first apartment in the Netherlands and rents are crazy. 20 year fixed for 1.5 interest rate below inflation. That's really insane. And if you can get such a fixed mortgage, if you are in a non-risky country in the EU, that's really an opportunity to hedge from what, whatever you are already long. And then you can say, okay, I'm hedged. If things go wrong, I have that protection for inflation. I get the yield. I cover myself in 10, 20 years. I get an additional pension retirement income from that. Very simple. It requires some work, but it can work. Five, you can invest in commodities. Currencies are losing value, but the world is growing. Global economy. This is not just commodities. This is global economy. We all use them. The world consumes 100 billion tons of materials per year, and it is expected for that to just grow. You can have a strategy. You can invest in gold. Uh, for example, you say, okay, I'll put 5% of my portfolio in gold. When it gets to six, I sell down back to five. If it goes to four, bring it back to five. And then you have an even strategy of investing in gold or other commodities. I personally have a lot of miners from fertilizers to copper that give me global exposure and protection against the inflation. And then again, against the infrastructure that will be invested from the money, they will build new pointless non-economic po bridges or roads in Europe because they want to build, they want to keep the population employed and they can print money to do that. So that's the story of Europe. Just, I hope it gives you a perspective on how to invest. Always look for margins of safety. If things go wrong with the investment, I don't lose much. If things go right, I win big or I don't lose at all or I don't get a 10% yield, I get a 3% yield. If things go wrong, if things go well, I get 10, 15% for eternity. Diversify over time, over 10, 20 years, and you'll be well off in the future. That's my message. Take advantage of what's going on. Don't be the sucker. Don't buy, I don't know, Italian bonds for 1% because you're already long them and you're not diversified and it's likely it will not be a good investment in the future. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments. Share your ideas. Let's make an interesting discussion in the comment section below. Subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.